Greetings, back again here. And uh, for this video, I thought I'd show you this uh, Anias clone that I have here. And uh, this is one that I picked up uh, about a year or so ago. And uh, it's just been sitting in a box in the corner here, and I haven't really been using it. So just uh, found it when I was going through some stuff, and uh, I thought I'd take it out here and and show you. And as you can see here, it looks uh, kind of like a, a miniature NES. Let we, let's see if we can take out uh, an original NES here. Uh, uh -huh. There we go. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they they look uh, similar. It's uh, this one is just. Uh, just uh, much smaller and uh, you have the uh, power button and the reset button on the right side here and then you have the controller ports on uh, the left side and uh, uh, the games go in here and then you have a <coughs> an eject button on the back here so you push to that to get the game out and on the back here we have let's see we have an uh, RF out and we have the uh, power and on the side here we have the video out and the audio out and we also have a, a headphone jack so you can plug in your headphones yeah uh, I have my TV on here so I'm gonna plug this in here and see if it still works so we just put this out of the way and let's see here if we can get these cables in here And I'm using the uh, power adapter for the original NES here. And uh, these are the controllers that I got with it. Uh, I don't know if these originally came with this or if these are just some random controllers. But uh, they have these uh, turbo buttons here and otherwise they look like your standard NES controller and they have the same contacts here so plug this in here so I'm guessing this works with the original controllers as well and let's see here we have a ice climber here get that in here like so and we press the button and it uh, yeah it seems to be working Yeah, it's a bit uh, difficult to play this with one hand here, but yeah, just wanted to to see if this was still working, and apparently it is. So.
Yeah, not too bad, uh, considering I'm playing with uh, just one hand here. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, really all I had to show you this time. Just wanted to show this uh, NES clone here. So, uh, bye for now, and I'll see you soon. Alright, just a, a quick uh, addition to the video here. Uh, and I've been doing some uh, research on this uh, this clone system and it seems it was made by a company called uh, NASA uh, not that NASA, uh, another NASA and uh, yeah they also made the controllers that came with this and uh, I haven't been able to find that much information about it but uh, I've seen uh, a similar similar looking system to this one uh, that they made uh, and that one had uh, a slot up here an extra slot for uh, Famicom games and it also had some uh, built-in games and this one has uh, neither of that it doesn't have that extra slot and it doesn't have any games built in but uh, other than that it looks it looks just the same so I'm guessing this is made by the same company, or at least it's made from the same uh, uh, the same mold as as that one. So yeah, just wanted to to add that little bit of uh, information, and uh, yeah, that's all I had to show you this time. So bye for now, and I'll see you soon.